three, two, one. Hi, this is Mrs. Robertson, and we're going to do area of triangles. All right, so we know that the area of a triangle is going to be one half base times height or base times height divided by two. This one is my favorite one. That's the one that I will be using quite a bit. Let's look at this triangle here. We already know that the base is going to be, when you count them, one, two, three, four, five. The base equals five. We know that the height, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, equals eight. So on your paper, you're going to write the formula, base times height divided by two. My base is five. My height is eight divided by two. Then since you're allowed to use calculators, five times eight is 40, divided by two is 20. So you're gonna have 20 units squared. Now before we do example number two, let's practice some of the problems down below. We're going to do one, two, and three. Then we're gonna go back and do example number two. So let's go down to problem number one. Okay, in this problem, I need to find my base and my height. Okay, in that problem, what's the base in number one? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And what's the height of that one? How tall is that one? Four. So, one, two, three, four. So the height equals four. Our formula, A equals base times height divided by two. Write it down. A equals five times four is 20 divided by two is 10. A equals 10. Now that's a lot to write down, but it makes your paper look like an algebra student, and we want to practice lining up equal signs and making it look good. Number two is very friendly. First thing you're going to do, area. Area equals base times height divided by two. A, area equals two times Five divided by two. What's two times five divided by two? Five. And this is five feet squared. Why is it squared? We're finding area and it's squared. Okay? Now, kids want to get good at this because you'll get to use a calculator. And number three will be really easy with the calculator because you're going to change them to decimals. We know this is our base and this is our height. What's a decimal for 14 and a half? Uh, yes. Landed, I can't hear you. What? Seven. No, the base is 14.5. One half is 0.5. 14.5. Then, three-fourths, the fraction three-fourths, who knows what three-fourths equals as a decimal? Yes, boy, 0.75. So this one, we're going to use 12.75. So now let's write this down. Area equals base times height divided by 2. A equals 14.5 times 12.75 divided by 2. So um, if you don't have a calculator, I will have them for you here in just a moment. But you're going to get a calculator, and then you'll type in 14.5 times 12.75 divided by 2, and you get 92.4375. And you keep it exact. It didn't say to round. So the answer for this one is 
inches squared. Any questions? All right. Now we're going to go to the second example. And this is where you have to find either the base or the height. Now we've already practiced writing down the formula, so this should be very simple for you. All right. We know the formula is area equals base times height divided by 2. So here it gives us the area. So under the A, you're going to put 42. This is the base. So we have base, which is 14 times the height divided by 2. Okay? Now, we have to solve a multi-step equation. And this is what you're going to do. You first have to get rid of the 2 that's on the bottom. So how do you undo dividing by 2, kids? Multiply by 2. So let's do that. Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. That cancels. Did everyone do that? Katia, I'm waiting for you to write that down. That'll equal 84 equals 14 times the height. Okay, what's the opposite of multiplying by 14? And we show division with the bar. Divide by 14, divide by 14. They did it over here. And this is what we're doing. So 84 divided by 14 is 6. 6 equals your height, and it's 6 inches. Okay? Now we're going to do, I'm going to, we're going to do 4 and 5 down below. If you are sitting next to someone that's causing you to talk, you need to move. This is being recorded. Thank you. In problem number 4, we know the height is 12 inches and I know the area. First thing I'm going to do is write down my formula. It's a triangle. Area equals base times height divided by 2. I know the area is 24. Under the letter A, write 24. I know the height is 12. I do not know what B is. But B times 12 divided by 2 equals 24. Now, What's the opposite? I've got to get rid of dividing by 2 first. How do I undo dividing by 2? Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. 2 times 24 is 48. 48 equals B times 12. Now, when you have 48 equals b times 12. What's the opposite of multiplying by 12? Divide. We show division with the bar. 48 divided by 12 is 4. 4 is our base. And it's going to be 4 what? What's the label in this one? Inches. Not inches squared, just inches. Okay? Let's do number 5. We have a base that's 15, and we know the area is this. These are triangles. Step one, let's write our formula down. Why? Because it really helps us to think about what we are doing. Now we're going to replace. A is going to be replaced with 37.5. It tells you area is 37.5. My base is 15, so I replace B with 15. I still have my H, and I'm dividing by 2. Now you're getting good at this. I have to undo dividing by 2 because we've got to get the bottom number out of the way. What's the opposite of dividing by 2? Multiply. multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. 
line up your equal sign. You can use your calculator. 37.5 times 2 gives you the answer 75. So you're going to put down 75 equals 15 times H. Now, how do I figure out what H is? What's the opposite of multiplying by 15? Divide. Get your calculator out. 75 divided by 15 gives you 5. 5 equals H. And 5 will be just meters because base and height are not squared. Question. Yes. No. Well, let me double check. 37.5 times 2. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It's always nice. Hey, I appreciate it when kids are looking carefully and looking for mistakes because it's very easy to make careless mistakes. Now, what are we going to do? On this paper, you're going to find the area of those shapes. You're going to do all. On the next side, um, do, let's try to do, do number 10. Um, you don't have to do number, just do number 10. So on this, I want you to do one to, do number 10 on this page. And then the home links, um, that'll be uh, assigned to um, this will not be hard because you do have a calculator. Okay. All right, so let's get going and do these problems. I will do some of them with you quietly. You can watch as I do them. So in problem number one, write down area equals base times height divided by two. We know that the base is seven. And the height is 4 divided by 2. You'll get 14 units squared. In problem number 2, if you turn your paper this way, you've got a base and a height. Okay, this would be your base. And this would be your height. Remember, it's got to be perpendicular to each other. All right. so. The base, one, two, three, four, five. Again, my base is five. The height, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The height is seven. So, area equals base times height divided by two. Area equals five times seven divided by two. It was seven. Did you get seven for the height class? Okay. So the area equals 35 divided by two, and you can use a calculator on this. 17.5. Is that what you got? Very good. Number three. Area equals base times height divided by 2, 12 times 10 divided by 2, 120 divided by 2 is 66 millimeters squared. Nice job, class. Number 4. Okay, um, 
in on that one. Did you get 238 for that one? 238 inches squared. On this one, I'm going to change my fractions to decimals. So, one fourth is 19 point what? What's the decimal for one fourth? Yes. Thank you. 0.25. So, that's going to be 19.25. What's the decimal for one half? Instead of writing down nine and a half, what will you put down? Yes, 0.5. So my height is 9.5. Area equals base times height divided by two. Area equals 19.25 times 9.5 divided by two. And then you'll multiply that in your calculator and get the answer. I'm not going to do that one right now. I'm just going to go ahead and set up the next problem. Number six. So in that one, you're going to multiply and then divide by 2. Now we're going to do problems uh, 7 and 8 and 9. We'll at least get number 7 done here. We have to find the missing dimension. Again, write the formula. These are all triangles. And the formula for a triangle is base times height divided by 2. We're going to replace H with 15 and our area with 285. So let's do that. 285 equals, I don't know my base, but I know my height is 15, divided by 2. Now you are all very smart, and you know, hey, I have to undo dividing by 2. And to do that, you multiply both sides by 2. And when you take 285 times 2, you're going to get 570 equals B times 15 because the twos canceled each other out. Now to figure out what B is going to be, what do I do? What's the opposite of multiplying by 15? Divide. Divide by 15. Divide by 15. In your calculator, 570 divided by 15 gives you the answer 38. 38 just feet equals your base because bases are straight lines. All right, we have time to do number eight. You're going to write down your formula. These are triangles. Area equals base times height divided by 2. My area is 18.7. My base is 17. I don't know my height. I do know we have to divide by 2 because it's a triangle. When you have rectangles and parallelograms, it's easier because you don't have to divide it by 2 part to mess with. Okay, how do you get rid of dividing by 2? Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. And so then you have 18.7 times 2, and that equals 37.4. And that equals 17 times H. And you are all very good at doing this. Divide by 17. Divide by 17. Use your calculator. 37.4. Divided by 17 gives you the answer of, is that 2 and 2 tenths? Did you get 2 and 2 tenths? 2.2. 2. 2. 2 and 2 tenths centimeters equals the height. And circle your answer. Now, I don't have time to do this one, but we can change them to decimals. 
We already know that 1 fourth is 0.25, right? Now, how do you change 5 eighths to a decimal? Well, you just divide. Uh, wait, kids. 5 divided by 8 is 0.625. So, this is going to be 128.625. And you will use those numbers in your problem. Have a good day.